Do you need what? sidekick for your stream? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Sidekick is a free tool that enables you to show Twitch clips on your live stream through two main methods. A shout out widget for when you want to introduce your community to another streamer and a be right back player, uh, which is a queue of Twitch clips that you can play for your audience while you go get your $35 Big Mac DoorDash on the porch. A little bit of backstory. So Dom, who you saw in the intro there, he started a project called Clippy from the comfort of his own home. Clippy started as a shout out overlay and a great way to find Twitch clips within a date range since the Twitch clip experience is still ass. After gaining quite a bit of popularity, Clippy was acquired by eFuse where it would be blessed with additional resources and team members to help build upon the base product. The Be Right Back player was added to the toolbox with some other cool features. And then shortly after that, Clippy was acquired by eFuse and the name was changed to Sidekick. So let me show you how to get access to Sidekick, how you can get signed up. I don't know why, I was about to tell you to go sign up before I had even shown you what this thing does. Don't sign up yet. Watch the video and then sign up. Okay, bye. Full disclosure, eFuse did reach out to me and ask if I was interested in making a video about Sidekick. Already being friends with Dom, already being familiar with both Sidekick and Clippy, uh, I obliged. No money exchange, no partnership, and no script approval. Getting started with Sidekick is super easy. So head on over to eFuse.gg slash Sidekick, sign into it, and then you'll be greeted by the Sidekick home screen. On the left side, you'll see the three main functions of Sidekick, overlays, shout outs, and the Be Right Back player. I know you see the Stream Deck button down there, but more on that a little bit later. Both the Shoutout player and the Be Right Back player were both in beta when I originally wrote this script, but both of those are officially out of beta now. Overlays is the new beta in town. So the overlays portion of the website is the home base of the portal. At least I think it's the home base. So if you click on overlays, you'll see that there are currently two templates that can be used, the shout out and the be right back. Those are the two main functionalities of Sidekick here in quarter one of 2023. And here's an overview of each function. What is shout out? Think of shout out as an overlay that you can use in your live stream, much like a browser source in OBS. When you shout out somebody in your chat, a video player that's a browser source in OBS pops up and plays a clip from their stream. I'm talking shit. Dude, I love you. Aww. Like any browser source, you can size, crop, uh, and reposition anywhere in OBS. Now, this is a leg up from the native shout out feature that Twitch released at the end of last year because you can actually show the viewers the clip. I don't necessarily think that one is better than the other. I think you should utilize both. You can use the sidekick shout out when you're drawing attention to a streamer you genuinely love or just makes content that you vibe with. Then you can use Twitch's shout out command if they suck. But you want to maintain a relationship so you have the possibility of of getting a fat raid in the future since their community is much larger than yours. So how about the Be Right Back plugin? This plugin as an overlay in OBS is meant for you when you need to drop a massive steamy poopy, but you don't really want to end the stream. Enable this overlay on your Be Right Back screen and Sidekick will automatically start playing a set amount of your Twitch clips. Perfect entertainment for the viewers. Let's jump into each of these plugins and see what kind of features you have and what settings you can change. In the shout out settings, you have a lot of control. If you don't want to use the default shout out command, you can set that to whatever you want. Because I already have exclamation point shout out used elsewhere i'm gonna put exclamation point sidekick so i'm just gonna be hitting a stream deck button anyways as far as the clips that it chooses for the streamer that you're shouting out the date range and the clip order are both changeable if you want to queue up the clips you can and if you'd like to have a select number of streamers that are auto approved for the shout out command, you can flip the option on and enter the streamer names below. As we all know, balancing audio in a live stream is key. So you can adjust the volume of each plugin individually with its own clip volume fader. I don't know why I paused after each one of those words. The shout out plugin also makes use of a few other commands, stop, stop all, mute, watch, replay, and reset. And you can use these in a few different ways. Once you install the Sidekick app from the Stream Deck store and create those buttons, or you can use the Stream Deck Twitch chat plugin and create those chat commands from scratch. Since the B-Ray back player is a little bit more cut and dry, uh, there aren't many configurable settings. Uh, like the shout out plugin, you can change the volume. And as far as the clips that are shown, you can select these from what date ranges you prefer, what order they'll play in, and if you want them filtered by a certain type of game. Now that you know what you can do and what you can change with each one of these settings, let's get the setup. Click back on the overlays part of the site. You'll see that I already have two overlays, one for each plugin. But for the sake of demonstration, let's just create a brand new one. 
Click on the shout out template. This automatically creates an overlay with a 1920 by 1080 canvas. This is the standard 1080p resolution. You can grab the corner of the overlay video player and stretch it to fit the canvas. The settings that we talked about in the previous segment uh, are available here in the sidebar. So you don't have to bounce back and forth between the pages in order to see it. For right now, the only thing that I really wanna change here is the clip volume, which I have set to 70%, works perfect for my audio. Click on the X in the top right corner to close out the settings. At the bottom of that page, click on the link to add it to your clipboard, and then head on over to OBS, create a new browser source, edit the resolution to match the canvas of Sidekick, paste the URL, and then you're done. Now let's set up the Be Right Back player. So click on the overlays again, and then the Be Right Back player template. Again, since I already have the settings for this player pre-configured, I'm just gonna leave everything pretty much default. I'm gonna stretch this plugin to fill the canvas. And then once I'm done with that, copy the link at the bottom, go over to OBS, create a new browser source on my Be Right Back scene and fill in the same details. One thing to note here, this plugin is going to play automatically. So make sure that when you are editing this source, you wanna check the box for disable when not visible, or else it's just gonna play in the background all the time. With both of those overlays set up, we can now minimize out of the browser window and focus on OBS. I'm gonna test both of these now so that you can see how they work. At the moment, you're looking at my main desktop capture scene for when we're doing educational content. Let's say my buddy middle-aged stream, he comes into my chat. I wanna introduce my community to him. All I have to do is type exclamation point sidekick SO middle-aged stream into chat, and then the browser source takes care of the rest of it. I mentioned Jimmy in a lot of my content, so let's test just one other streamer to be sure. <laughs> Well, it's time to take that massive poop I've been dreaming of. And as I mentioned earlier, let's enable the Be Right Back source. 2017 RLCS in Washington. Okay. So I'm going to bring up, and look at that, the video plays. Last but not least, I did mention a Stream Deck plugin earlier. If you head over to the App Store in the Stream Deck, you can download the Sidekick plugin. This gives you access to those commands that we saw in the settings and the portal earlier. Uh, so you can add these buttons to your Stream Deck for easy use. No more trying to type in chat while you're streaming, just hit the button and go. These two overlay types are just the beginning for Sidekick. Dom and his team have been working at it nonstop ever since its launch, improving the user experience. And I 100% recommend that you try it out, especially now that it's free, why not? Sidekick also has two new widgets on the horizon that I know of. They are looking to integrate polls and a social rotator. If you're a fan of tutorials for content creators, I've got a video about balancing your audio in OBS, especially for live streaming. But if you're more so into the hardware review side of things, you can check out my in-depth review of the Beacon Mix Create. I also have reviews about the Beacon Mix and the Beacon Mic. Or don't watch them. <laughs>